Hey, it's your boy Jamal, we're back again with another video. I'm gonna take my intro like that. YouTube, we back with another video. That's what I say. Oh. Back with another video. And one of the subscribers said to talk about um, girls in dorms and tech school. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. Which, when you put two to two together, what they talk about? Women are great. Exactly. You can't do that. So That's a no-no. No sex. You're not doing it. Also, it depends on your, such as for tech school and girls, it depends on your AFC which is your job, depends on what you're doing. Like, cause some, some bases like you for your different tech school for different jobs. So I'm a security forcer. So I'm here on Lackland, which is where you'll be here. You will be already here for BMC, but it just depends on your AFC and your um, job. And cause some are stricter than the others. I've heard that like dorm integration isn't a thing at some other bases, but it is here. So it just depends on your job, like I said. Yeah. Tech school in general, like it's pretty fun. It's better than BMT, which you're gonna do at BMT because BMT like, like it's pretty whack. Uh, here, you get your phone. On the weekends, you might have cities, you might not. It's basically like college, just a little bit stricter. You have a little bit more rules, yeah. Such as wearing PT gear, you know what I mean? Such yeah. as wearing PT gear. Um, you have to, on duty days, you have to march around with a wingman. It's literally like, for me, it's like college. It's a little bit different. You have, um, good. you have your, good. you have your defect. You have where you go to eat, basically. You have to say hello to lunch auditorium. Do I need to turn it down? So you no, you're good. You have your lunch auditorium, you know what I mean? On duty days, you go to training, which is like, we wake up at what? Like five, five in the morning, five to, 1500, 1600, whatever. Sec foe. Um, you go to training and you just, you know what I mean? You learn basically your job. And when you're not doing that, you're in your room doing whatever you want. Laundry, you, do, you, have, to, you have to do your laundry and stuff, of course. Um, you go eat? You're about to eat it. Oh, you go, go eat. eat. They got, got some food. Burger, Burger King, we got it. Subway. Oh, pizza place. They got Burger King, Fast Subway, Robin. Papa John's, Domino's. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Popeyes. Then, oh, Popeyes. and then you want Popeyes. You good. You good, but then also for um, weekends, you can go to the Big BX, has everything you need. It's basically like a discount mall, right? Pretty much, yeah. It's kind of like a big Walmart, but just has everything in it. You got clothes such as Under Armour. You don't got none of that good designer drip like me. But, um, you got some nice little colognes in there. Okay, you got some nice little colognes. You know, it smell good for the girls on duty days or whatever. But um, just pertaining to girls in tech school, they be weird. Like, they be weird. They be, sometimes they be trying to get you caught up. Sometimes they just be trying to have fun. But you'll you'll know who's the weird one, you know what I mean? Once you talk to them, you'll know who's weird and who's not. You'll know who, who you can say certain things with and who you cannot. You know all about that. He the ladies, man. I just be chilling. Navy. Oh, we on a joint base, so like, oh, all right. Yeah, I can't. No, we on a joint base, so you're gonna, <laughs> so you're gonna see, you're gonna, so we're on a joint base, okay? So you're gonna see Navy, He's Marines, right. Army. Those are three bases that are um located at Lackland. So you're gonna see them, and you know, what I mean, you could chop it up with them or whatever. You could do what you need to do. And some Navy, the Navy girls, you know what I mean? I think they're better than the Air Force girls. Like I said, cause the Air Force girls, they be weird. Like I said, they just, they do weird stuff. And they just, it seems like they'll, they'll talk to you and then they'll try to like get you mixed, wrapped up. You know what I mean? Get you in trouble. I don't know what you mean. I don't oh know what my you mean. goodness. <laughs> yeah, that's why I say you know all about it. That's the lady, man. I don't be doing that. I just be chill. All right, so in tech school, you can't wear any nose rings, earrings, any type of piercing that's visible that you can see. For men, you can't wear your earrings with uh. Why you got your PT? <laughs> you got your PT gear so All right, yeah, you can't wear your um your earrings with your PC gear or your um OCDs, your uniform. You can't you can't wear none of that. Um, but when you in cities, like like me and him, you can put in a nose ring, earring. Females, you can wear your earrings. Nose ring, no. Well, for females, it has to be a certain, like, um, has to be a small enough, you know what I mean? You can't have it too big. But um, when you're on duty days, um, for boys and girls, I believe, right? For boys and girls, no nose ring, no earrings. Yeah, no earrings. But no there earrings. are the, um, that's what I'm 
Yeah, this is yeah. There are um, if you go to Claire's, you know what I mean, on base at the big mall, you can go to there's a I think there's a pagoda shop and they have like clear things to put in your ear just to hold it just in case say you got it just pierced like I did. You can just put them in there and you won't be able to see them and they just hold it so it doesn't get it doesn't so it doesn't close or anything, get infected or none of that. But most of the times when you're on duty days, you have to take out your earrings. And if you're on PT gear, no matter what's up, you have to take out your um you have to take out your earrings. But like for us, we're we're we have this on and we have civvy on because we just got back from um, Exodus, which is basically just Christmas break, you know, go and see the family or whatever. And so we have to quarantine for about five days. So Tuesday we'll go back to, um, we'll go back to training and we'll, and then that's when we have to restart and like take these out or whatever. And if you are security forces, you probably not going to the gym unless you got swing shifts, then you can go to the gym during like regular shift days. You're not going to the gym because the gym that we're allowed to go to is going to close by the time you get off. Uh, <laughs> by the time you get off work. Yeah, so um, for swing shifts, swing, shift, <laughs> swing shifts is the best shift. So basically swing shifts is like night shift, but you don't have to, you don't have to go to training to about what, 1500, 1600, and you'll go from training from 1600 to 2200, which is in regular time, which is from three o'clock to 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock. And it's it's an easier day because first, it's, it's, it's just better because you get more sleep. Um, you get to do what you want during the day. You have more free time and you can um, like, if you have doctor appointment or whatever, you know what I mean, you gotta get a shaving waiver or, you gotta get your shaving waiver. I tried to get it, but it didn't work. Yeah. But you still see sign. You may see a little sign, sign. But so if you actually get a shaving waiver or whatever you gotta do, um, that's what you do during swing shifts. You'll have a couple of swing shifts um, when you train, and it's just easier because you get off earlier. So instead of five in the morning to like four o'clock, it's three o'clock p.m. to what ten o'clock, the latest eleven o'clock. So it's just easier. And then the next day, on top of that you get to sleep in again. Even if you don't have another swing shift, you get to sleep in again until, what, nine? Yeah, about nine. And if you have class, then you'll go to class around nine. So it's it's just easier, it's just better. You know what I mean? It's just a, for me, it's just, you can get a lot of a lot of things done in that time. It's just more productive for me. All right, so your team is gonna be mixed up. Like we're on team eight, so we're mixed up females and males. It's not gonna be like at, like when you're at BMT, when it's just straight males, you have it mixed up. Our team is like, what, 98 people? Yeah, 98 people. It's about like 40 something females. Nah, there's only like 37 right. females. So basically you'll see them um, every day. You got accountability, you got morning accountability, night accountability, which sucks. Those are basically just make sure you're on base. You're not, you're not AWOL, you're not whatever. You're just here. And um, so for morning accountability, if you're not in round status or you're not just like say it's super like snowing out or raining, you usually do, if it's, if, if it's those, for those um, circumstances, you usually just walk outside, show your cat card or whatever. But in, if it's not those situations, it's a regular day, you have to literally form them up as a team, count off, and then go to firehouse, with, where is, which is where the females stay. And, and, and this is a count off. Like, you're going you to uh, hold up. You're going to be like, right here. You're going to stand at attention, and then you're going to drop to the knee. One, two, and then all the way to the bottom nine game. For all the teams, so there's about what 11 teams, yeah. which is about 100 people on each team, which is about what? Do the math. It's about a thousand something. So that's a thousand people you have to count off, and then they just have a stand in there because they're counting the paper. Like they have a paper chart, right? They have a paper in their hand, and they're just like, okay, they just make sure they're checking off everybody at the same time. So they're like, okay, bang, 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 bang. So that's another about 20 minute wait. Basically, for accountability, morning and night accountability, it's about what? How long do you think it is? Morning accountability, it, uh, like, that's short. Yeah, that's like 25 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Minutes. Um, and night then, accountability, that's about like, that's like an hour. An hour that's yeah. an hour. You're, you're, you're just sitting there yeah. for an hour doing nothing. And when you're on accountability, you're supposed to be, um, you got parade rights, you got attention. At parade rights, you can't talk at attention, you can't talk, so you're not supposed to be talking or whatever. So basically, you gotta sit there doing nothing, no talking, no nothing. And it just gets really tiring and you just, you just, get annoyed of it basically. First off, when you come to um, tech school, you'll start off our case, it doesn't matter where tech school you're at, you can be in California, you can be in um, San Antonio like us, um, there's phases. So phase one is just basically your beginner, you just started, um, 
you have to put, so if you have a TV in your room, Xbox in your room, you have to, when you're done using it or when you leave your room, you have to put it under your bed, you have to lock it up somewhere, you have to do something with it, you gotta unplug everything for fire hazards or whatever. And if you're phase two, you can leave it out, but it has to be unplugged. And for phase three, I think you can leave it out and unplugged. And if your um, tech school permits, you can um, smoke and, and drink. If your tech school permits, you can smoke. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can't do none of that. So no you smoke and drink at the security forces. So you're going to get put on tango. Exactly. Did you talk about tango? And I ain't talking about dancing. I'm talking exactly. about. What is tango? We ain't talking about cha cha. Well, All right, so for tango, basically. <laughs> Uh, how can I explain this? If you get put on Tango, you did something wrong. Or or not even that, they think you did something wrong. Tango is a state of where you're off training and you're just, they're just investigating your, whatever you yeah. did, whatever malicious activities you did, they're just investigating it. Basically saying like, basically it can take up a while. You can be on Tango for months, you can be on Tango for weeks, or you can be on Tango for days. It just depends. They yeah, just, you got it. And they just, they just, they just, um, you're just on Tango doing nothing. You do details. Details are uh, basically just CQ. Um, what is CQ? They can tell you to sweep the parking lot. You yeah, they can go and sweep the parking lot. Yeah, they can tell you to sweep the parking lot. You just you grab your broom and start sweeping. It's just little things to keep you busy throughout the day because like I said, Tango, there's no training. And in order to graduate, you have to train. So if you go, if you get put on Tango, you automatically, your um, graduation date gets pushed back. And then you got to hop on another team. Like, say, if I got put on Tango, I'm on Team 8. I would get probably pushed back to, like, Team 13, 14. No, first, it doesn't, no. First, you'll be on Tango. And once they feel like <laughs> you can they, you can come off of Tango, then they'll put you back on Team. So I know somebody that was on Tango. They've been on, t so we're Team 8. And they were, they've been on, they were, they were the old teammate, which is about, what? That's 11, that's, like, 11 weeks, like, that's 11 weeks cycle. That means, like, 11 weeks later, they got put back on Team. So like, for instance, if it's a like if it's something really bad that they're really investigating, you can be on Tango for like five six months, which which delays your training and just makes you stay here longer. But just it's not hard to get put on Tango. If don't do anything stupid, but if you do, just watch who you watch who you're around, watch who you're talking to, and just you know stay low, stay quiet. You know what I mean? Be in the bushes. At the end of the day, you're here to learn, get in, get out. Then once yeah. you go to operational, you can do whatever nah, you want. Nah, nah. You ain't here to make whatever. You ain't here to get a wife. You know what I mean? You ain't here nah. to get a wife. You ain't here to get a wife. You ain't here to for. You ain't here to make friends. You know what I mean? Friends, a good yeah. experience. You yeah. know what I mean? Live it up. It's it's just like college. Like I have said, have fun, but have don't, fun. Do, don't do nothing stupid. Like marry somebody in tech school. You don't know them for like three days. Yeah. <laughs> Or, or don't get in a relationship and then when when you get out of a relationship, start crying or something. And then you find out that the person that you was in the relationship with had a person back home that they was already in a relationship with. Boom. Mm -hmm. A lot of that happens. Yeah, a lot of it, right? <laughs> you can speak on that. Yeah, I know a couple people that did that. <laughs> I ain't gonna say no names. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's about it. We done with the video. Like, subscribe, share, all that. Add me on Snap, Z A Y E K I. Wait, E K A I, my four. Yeah, you got IG? Oh, yeah, IG 610610 Z. Z A Y E. Oh, let me add my stuff, man, because I ain't guess. So snap, J Carter, Seattle 3, J C A R T E R, Seattle 3. Instagram is easier. Underscore dot M A L underscore three. Two? Hmm? You said two? Three. Two? M A L underscore. Hold up. Dang, I messed it up. <laughs> all right, like, subscribe, share, all that. All right, we out.